right guys welcome back to the channel man today is a special day and a really big day in the fish room as you read by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be rebuilding the fish room and as you can notice right now there are currently no tanks on this wall it's about six or seven tanks right here has been moved and have been moved to the other side of the fish room i'll show you here soon but we're gonna be starting a new series on the channel and that's pretty much rebuilding our fish room so for anybody out there who always wanted to build a fish room or don't know how to go about it i'm pretty much going to take you guys through the whole process the whole basement is going to be getting rebuilt over the next few weeks and months so Make sure you got your notifications on because you're not gonna wanna miss these videos. The other day, me and my partner started moving all the tanks that was on this side. So I'm gonna send you guys back to that footage when we moved all these tanks, and then we'll be right back. As you can see, I got a bunch of two by fours and some center blocks already right here. I had hauled in all this stuff last night. This is gonna be the first section of the fish room that we're gonna start rebuilding on, but we'll get to that towards the later of this video. First thing we're gonna be doing is moving this uh, 36 gallon pond because we're gonna be running a rack system all the way down this whole wall. So these two ponds are gonna be getting moved to a different location. Um, so that way we can rebuild the rack system all the way down here. So we got to move this pond today, get the fish out of there, drain that, and get the fish into a different aquarium. Move the pond over to the other side of the fish room, and then we can start building this whole rack system, man. So stick around. It's about to be a lit video. So I finally got all the fish out of there. As you can see, they all in this two and a half. And uh, while I was in there looking, I noticed that there are was some weird babies in there. There could be some African cichlid fry that I could have had in there from months back that didn't grow out. Or it could be some of these rock dwellers. Or it could be some baby tetras. I really don't know. Currently right now, what I'm doing is I'm draining the pond. Once we get it drained, get all this electrical uh, hooked back here. And then we'll move the pond over to the other side of the fish room. And then we're going to get this thing moved, man. So stick around. Finally got everything drained. Got everything unhooked. So we're going to start moving this stuff. All right, so we finally got the pond moved and I did a little bit of cleaning up. You guys can really get a full understanding of how my basement looked and how it looked before I started building my fish room the first time. The next thing we're going to move the pond, but that'll probably be in the next episode when we move this. And then we'll move that refrigerator back there. And then this whole side all the way up to the front will be ready to go. Next time I pick the camera up, we'll be starting rebuilding this. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we finally got the rack system built. Definitely with some work. Just trying to get everything figured out for the configuration and how we want it. Make sure all the tanks can fit where they're gonna be going at and just thinking about future stuff. Make sure we can be able to get behind the tanks and just get everything situated. So definitely was a little bit of work. I'm happy with how 
the stand is looking right now. Um, I can kind of give you guys a little idea of what's gonna be going on. This portion of the fish room is gonna be for like tens and 20 gallons. I got about 10, 10 gallons and about five or six uh, 20 gallon aquarium. It's gonna be just for my tens and my 20 gallon aquarium. So, and I just, and we made room for more tanks too, actually. So the 10 gallons will be sitting about right there. We'll have the 10 gallons sitting here then up top here it'd be 20 gallons so all the way down to about i think i got about 20 feet 10 feet of 20 gallons 10 and a half feet of 20 gallons so it's 20 gallons that goes about right here and then i probably throw like my other 20 gallon long or something down there we're gonna have a total of about 15 tanks right here and then down at the bottom right here it's actually room for either another 10 gallon can go down here if i wanted it to and just throw more 10 gallons down there so that way we can have two four six eight ten i really can put all my 10 gallons but i really don't want nothing that low so i think if i was to put some tanks down there it'll probably be like some five gallons or something like that and then it'll be pretty much for like baby girls just for have babies that's pretty much what it'd be so this was a good first day and I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. Definitely a lot of work. I'm gonna go get this video and get it edited out to you guys. But stay tuned because we got a lot coming, man. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is painting. I got a bunch of paint brushes. So when we paint this all black, so I will be de definitely making a video about that next on painting this and showing you guys on how to do that and getting it all looking nice. Then we'll get a new backdrop back here with some new black backdrop and then we'll put it's just a lot coming man so stay tuned you guys are not going to want to miss this build because you will learn a lot and this is something that anybody can do super easy diy project that you can do it doesn't really cost a lot i think for just this rack alone let's just give you guys some price numbers um for this rack this wood and these center blocks i pay about 80 dollars and i got about 40 center blocks and four two by what these two by four by 16s yeah, two by four by 16, so 80 bucks right here. And I'm gonna have about 15 tanks running on this system. So anybody can do this. If you got room in your basement or garage or a spare room, you can do this. It's really cheap and easy. You just gotta get to get dirty, get your hands dirty and, and move these center blocks, man. You guys, a little update on the fish we took out the pond. These are all the fish that was in the pond. All these beautiful tetras and these garamis, these pearl garamis that was in there. And we got these beautiful, I put out so many African cichlid babies that was in there. I didn't realize I had that many African cichlid babies. And then we have these shell dwellers too. Um, these fish are, some of these fish are going to stay in this aquarium for now. And then some are going to get moved like these shell dwellers. I'm going to put them with my other shell dwellers and make like a cool shell dweller tank. Some of these tetras I'll move around different aquariums. Uh, these African cichlid babies I'll probably move out so we can grow these guys out. These beautiful little baby over here but we'll grow them guys out and i'll probably give some fish away to my buddy because he needs some new fish so i probably donate some fish to him because i got tons and tons of fish so as you can see but i always got to show this tank man this can't can't make a fish video without showing this beautiful tank man so this were all the fish that were in that 55 gallon they all in here doing good and i added another uh angel fish too so this is a new angel that black one he was in the pond with those other tetras but i ended up putting him in here so now we have five angel fish in here and all these beautiful south american cichlids and they look so amazing in here man i just and you can look and see look at that uh garami he's starting to get some color on him he's starting to get like some red on his fins and stuff he's really coloring up really good you guys have another little update on these african cichlids i know you guys love seeing these fish so these African cichlids are in here doing amazing. The Williamson Blue Lips haven't had no fighting, no problems, especially from this buddy right here. Haven't had any problems. The frontosis, he hides back there behind those rocks back there. That's where he kind of lives at. Uh, so he don't really come out very often until I feed. But uh, all the Africans are in here looking amazing, man. And right here, we got the Monster Prime. See all these fish, see that red tail? He is growing expeditiously fast. So these fish are gonna be all getting moved out of here. This will be the next video. We'll be moving this 100 gallon pond and getting prepared for these fish new home. So stay tuned for that. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys learned something. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.